Um, just the last one. Um, so as an example, and we'll just pick Superman, but Krypton, yeah. you know, um, physically could I actually, I don't know, grow up, be born on another planet? Yes, physically you could, um, but generally there are like certain souls assigned to certain uh, dimensional existences initially. So, so the way God's created, God's created this, hu this huge number of billion, trillions and trillions of souls that are able to incarnate. They all go through a first incarnation process, just like we do, but they may go through it in different planets other than the one we go through on. However, your other half of the soul will always go through the same process as you go through on the same planet you go through. Um, then, after we've gone through the process of reaching the soul union condition, then we have the ability to visit these other locations, although a high, unlikely, a high likelihood that we won't. And the reason why there's a high likelihood is because it's all stuff that's happened before in our own life. We're always, by that stage, you're always looking ahead not looking behind does that make sense so so while it's possible um, and you can do it for the sake of a scientific experiment if you like and uh, there's a high likelihood you wouldn't necessarily do it there's no purpose there's no underlying reason um, and so once you reach the soul union condition in that condition your primary uh, purpose is to continue growing in your relationship with God and continue developing in your own awareness of yourself. And to do that, you have to exceed your current condition by growing in love even further than that condition. And therefore, um, you wouldn't look downwards to do that. You're always looking, if you like, ahead. You know, it's, like, it's a bit like you driving from Adelaide to Mildura. You get to Mildura and then you decide that... Uh, to understand what's ahead of Mildura, you have to go back to Adelaide again. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Like if you had, if you had to go from Mildura to Sydney, would you come back to Adelaide again? Probably not, unless you'd left something behind. <laughs> and that's the only time you would. Does that make sense? So, so you might get to certain progress in, the spirit, in these spirit dimensions where you get to a certain point, like the sixth dimension, for example, and then you realise you left something behind and it was in the third dimension. So then you would go back to the third dimension, wouldn't you? And you'd, you'd pick that up, you know, you'd, like, you'd work out what that is. But, but if you get to this point here, you've already done all of those dimensional existences. Why would you re want to re-experience them when the next experience would even be more, like, mind-blowing, if you like, if you could use that term, above in the 37th dimension? Like, why would you then go back unless you'd left something behind? Or got lost. <laughs> or got lost, yeah, yeah. Have to go back to the beginning to find your way. Um, although to a certain degree that doesn't make much sense either, does it? Like, you know, if, if, if we got lost going to Mildura, I suppose you'd have to be really lost before you contemplated coming back to Adelaide <laughs> to go to Mildura again, wouldn't you? Like, you'd have to be terribly lost to get to, get to that point. Um, and sometimes that does happen at the soul. You know, the, the similar analogy could be said to happen at the soul level, and that's what the hells are like in a lot of ways. Uh, the hells of the first dimension are, are sort of really people who have really lost their way quite substantially, and, uh, and they're just trying to find their own way. And there's things that they can do, of course, to help that process. But, but by the time you've entered the second or the third or fourth dimensions, it's rare for you to go back unless you have left something behind. And usually that happens when you hit the sixth. You might go back because there's certain things you've left behind in your development, you know.